Averaging Theory and Logic Design Assignment made by Rishabh Pandey, Enrollment Number 203, BTEC CSE, Fourth Semester. The topic given to me is Content Addressable Memory. So let us start. So what is Content Addressable Memory? A memory unit accessed by content is called Content Addressable Memory or CAM for short. It is known with many names such as Associative Memory, Associative Storage or Associative Array. This type of memory is accessed simultaneously and in parallel on the basis of the data content. Content Addressable Memory is a special type of computer memory used in very high speed searching applications. That is, it operates like a hardware search engine for search intensive applications. Now, let us look at the differences between RAM and CAM. First point, RAM stands for Random Access Memory, while CAM stands for Content Addressable Memory. Second point. In RAM, the user supplies a memory address and RAM returns the data word stored at that address. In case of CAM, the user supplies the data word and it searches its entire memory. If the data word is found, CAM returns the list of addresses where the data word was located. Third point, the price of RAM is low as compared to CAM. On the other hand, CAM is more expensive than RAM. Fourth point, it is you, RAM is used for running applications and program data for performing operation. While on the other hand, CAM is widely used in database management system and in networking devices. In order to search a particular data in RAM, the data is read from certain address and compared. If the match is not found, the content of the next memory is accessed and compared. This goes on and on until the required data is found. The number of access depends upon the location of data and efficiency of the searching algorithm. This searching time can be reduced if the data is searched on the basis of content, which is why searching is very fast in CAM. It is designed, CAM is designed in such a way that the user supplies the data word and CAM searches its entire memory to see if the word is present or not in one complete cycle. Now let us look at the read and write operations in CAM. First, we'll be looking at the read write operation in CAM. When a word is written in CAM, no address is given to it. The memory is capable of finding an unused location to store the word. Read operation in CAM. When a word is to be read from CAM, the content of the word or a part of the word is specified. The memory locates all the words which makes the specified content and marks them for reading. Now let us look at the block diagram of CAM. CAM mainly consists of four parts. Argument register denoted by capital A. Key register denoted by capital K. Associative memory array. And finally, the fourth part, the match register denoted by capital M. We'll be looking into each component in detail, a little detail. First is the argument register denoted by capital A. It contains the word to be searched, the input. It has n bits, one for each bit of the word. Second component is the key register denoted by capital K. It, this specifies which part of the argument word needs to be compared with the words in the memory. If all the bits in the registers are one, the entire word should be compared. Otherwise, only the bits having the K bits set to one will be compared. For example, let's say I have a word with 10 bits in the argument register and I want to search all those words in the memory in the, which are having the first four bits same as that of the argument where this is where the key register is used third component is associative memory array it contains the words which are to be compared with the argument word fourth component match register denoted by capital m it has m bits 
one bit corresponding to each word in the memory array. After the matching process, the bits corresponding to the matching word in matching registers are set to 1. The cell present inside the memory array are marked with letter C with two subscripts. The first subscript gives the word number and the second specified the bit position in the word. For instance, let us con uh, uh, look at this cell C11. It denotes the first bit of the first word. A bit AJ in the argument register is compared with all the bits in the column J of the array provided that the K K of J is 1. This process is done uh, for all the columns in for J equals to 1, 2, till N. If a match occurs between all the unmasked bits of the argument and the bits for the word I, the corresponding bit M of I in the match register is set to 1. And if one or more unmasked bit of the argument word does not match, MI is clear to 0. Now, let us take an example for better understanding. In the argument register, we have been given a word with the bit sequence as 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, we want to find all the words in the memory in which uh, which are having the first three bits same as that of the argument register the first three bits of the argument register are of the sequence 101 and we want to find all the words that have the same sequence thus we make the use of the key register we set the first three bits of the key registers as one and we'll keep all the rest of the bits as zero now since the first word doesn't has the first three bits as 101 Therefore, it is not a match and the value of its match register is set to 0. While on the other hand, the first three bits of the second word has 101 as a sequence and hence it is a match and its match register is set to 1 and thus it is a match. Now, let us look at the various advantages CAM has. Now, it is suitable for parallel searches. It is also used where search time needs to be short since searching is very fast in case of CAM. Associative memory is often used to speed up databases in neural networks and in page tables used by the virtual memory of modern computers since the accessing and searching of data is very fast in CAM. It is also used in many networking devices such as internet routers and switches where large amount of data is there and where uh, searching of data is needs to be very fast that is why cam is reused now let us look at the disadvantage of cam the biggest disadvantage of cam is that an, an associative memory is more expensive than random access memory this is because of the its more complex nature as compared to the random access memory. The end. Thank you.